What's up guys, you're watching episode number 60 of Mystery, Mystery Monday. Monday! Entertainment Earth sent us a full case of the Doctor Who, Titans Vinyl Figures, the Rebel Time Lord Collection, and they have another one for us to give away to one of you guys. You ready, Mix? I'm ready! Alright, let's do it! Alright guys, giveaway time again. In case you haven't seen us do this on Mystery Monday before, this is how we do it. When Entertainment Earth sends us a big case of awesome figures, they usually have one for us to give away to one of you guys. A second one. We get to keep this one, Mix, and it's a good thing because I don't know if Mix would let me give this one away, would you? Absolutely not. I love these guys. In case you haven't heard us say it before, we do our shopping online at Entertainment Earth, and we do that for four reasons. Number one, when you pre-order something, you're not charged for it until that item has come into their warehouse and it's being processed to ship out to you. Your credit card is in charge up until then, but you know you've secured that figure. That's awesome, especially when you're like us and you load up on 300 pre-orders in one day. Number two, they have a mint guarantee. And we like to know that our collectibles are going to be in excellent condition. Don't we mix? Yes, we do. Number three, they have a low price guarantee, don't they mix? That's the one I like. <laughs> I like it too because I get in less trouble knowing that I'm getting the lowest price at Entertainment Earth. Right, Mix? Less trouble, yes. And number four, one that I've never used, but it's awesome knowing it's there. They have a 90-day hassle-free return policy. And if that isn't enough for you, they also have an awesome staff that are just amazing to deal with. So, if you want Titans or basically any other collectible that you can think of that is available for sale, click the link in the description after this video is over. Buy yourself something at the lowest price available and bring Hollywood home. Now let's start unboxing the Rebel Time Lord Collection mix. Yeah. I'm gonna let you go first mix, but before you dig in, tell them who's in the set. There is 16 different characters in the set. We'll get 14 of those because we'll only get two of the mystery figures and there's four mystery figures. So we'll get 14 different figures and then we'll have six doubles left over. So in this set, there is the 12th Doctor in a black jacket, 11th Doctor, 12th Doctor in a brown jacket, Clara in a red dress, Danny Pink, a mystery Cyberman, Robin Hood, mystery Tardis, Missy, Half-Face Man, the Teller, Cyberman Danny Pink, Rusty the Dalek, Mystery 12 Doctor, The Foretold, and a Mystery Clara. Alright, so I don't watch Doctor Who, you guys, but Mix is a pretty big fan of Doctor Who, right? Yeah. What I really like about this set is there's a character I know, Robin Hood. Yes, Robin Hood is in the set. So that's good for me. So who are you hoping for, Mix? Uh, I don't even know. I, I just, I, maybe the Doctors, the 12 Doctors, because he's my favorite. I always want the mystery figures. Yeah. It's just I fun to get the them. ones that are harder to find, right? <laughs> this one, oh, it's the foretold. Does he have a little accessory? No. Nope. He looks like a mummy. And oh, he looks cool. Look yeah. Cool. He's actually like a soldier that was kind of bandaged up and he kind of phases people out of space and time and like eats them for food. <laughs> <laughs> But he goes after the weakest ones because he's trying to like help the rest survive, I guess. Cool. And his face is all bandaged up. He's got like big black sockets in for eyes there. You can see his gray flesh underneath the bandages. He's got something on his back. I can't tell what that's supposed to be, but maybe it's just like the gaping hole in his ribs or whatever. <laughs> and then you can see like he's got some bandages kind of around his body and then he's got like just bone showing for his rib cage. So he looks really cool. I like his eyes and his mouth and how the bandages are kind of like torn away looking in some spots at the end. Yeah, I love his face. He's very cool. Alright, I'm gonna get a Robin Hood. You just love that there's a character you might recognize. <laughs> I cannot guess these guys. They're Whoa. way too similar. It just broke open. Oh. I spoiled it for myself. You I hope you guys didn't see, because it is a oh, double. <laughs> yeah, you actually end up getting most of the doubles yeah. because yeah. they're usually I know you planned it that way, Mix. <laughs> It's because they're to together all the time in, in the Titans cases. So it's the mummy. They're foretold. They're not mummies, really. Okay. These should be mystery figures if they're not messed around, which doubles usually aren't together if the case is messed up. So, yeah. so I think we might get some Yeah, the mystery figures are usually this one and this one. And they're always 
my favorite. Ah, uh, it's the Mystery 12 Doctor. Is it? Yeah. Oh, he has a sonic screwdriver. And he's in his orange space suit. He might wear it a few times. There's a lot of orange space suits in Doctor Who. They, all the doctors, I think, have one. I know he has one on when they are trying to kill the moon, because the moon's like a dragon or something. <laughs> Don't That's question awesome. it, okay? I cannot explain plots of Doctor Who to you. So he's got his cool sonic screwdriver. I love the sonic screwdriver. He's got his handsome Peter Capaldi, like, older looking face with the lines in it and his gray hair. I He's my favorite doctor. He's so cool. I just love Peter Capaldi. He's got his orange jumpsuit, kind of like space suit on. He's got the little suspenders in the back there and clips in the front. Yeah, I just, I love the sonic screwdriver. He's got a little piece around his neck that doesn't seem to actually be attached. Mm. I think if his head popped off, maybe that would come off. That looks where his helmet would probably like attach onto. So he looks awesome. No helmet though? No helmet. You have to see his handsome face. I do like that the Titans come with accessories a lot. I know. I love that. I always have to double check the bag because I'm thinking that I maybe missed. Yeah. We've, and we've, we've thrown them away a few times. Yes, quite a few times. Ready? Yeah. Another mystery figure. You might have Clara or the TARDIS. Is it a cube? Because that's no. the TARDIS. No. Then it could be a Cyberman or Clara. It's a weird accessory with this one. It's square. What is it? It is. Oh, it's Clara. Does she oh. have an accessory? Yeah. What is it? Oh, this is Clara's. I think this is a newspaper. This is in like the first episode where he transitions to this doctor and she's so Victorian looking. So they're back in like Victorian London and she gets like a little hint or a clue or something in this newspaper about I think meeting up with him. So she's really Victorian looking. She's got like her hair all done up, so mini hair, oh my god, this is a, the best mini <laughs> hair. It's all done up in like a crazy, complicated looking updo there. Her bangs are all wavy in the front. Like they look really cute just hanging down in little tendrils. Then she's got some nice earrings. Her makeup looks kind of cat-eyed a little bit. She's got her little pink lips. And then her outfit looks cool because she's got like a green Victorian dress on with like a little probably cameo or something at her neck there. And then lace around the edges and the cuffs of her dress. And I think there's even like some white lace that goes under her hands. Oh, and there's like a little bustle at the back or something. <laughs> so she's cute. I'm so glad So this is a newspaper? It looks almost like a, a manual of some sort. Well, it's, I think, oh no, it looks like it's a menu. Mancini's Family Restaurant. Oh. I remember there was like little ads and clues and stuff in mm. newspapers and things. Okay. That was a long time ago that I watched that episode, yeah. so I'm not totally sure. On the back it says Impossible Girl because that's what the 11th Doctor used to call her. Oh, the Impossible nice. Girl. So I love her. All right, so those are the two mystery figures. They are in the same spot as usual. So for the rest of the case now, if things go the way they usually do, we won't get any more yeah. mystery figures. But we will get whatever this figure is. We'll probably get some doubles. So who do I want to see? Another doctor, I think. Oh, this is a Dalek. This is for sure a Dalek. I learned with the last Dalek I had from the Fantastic Collection. If you like heat these up a little bit in warm water, there's or him up in warm water. There's instructions that these will pop on a little bit easier. Yeah. So we, we can even do that after. Yeah, we hurt ourselves the last time we got well, a Dalek. I think I almost broke him <laughs> because they pop on, they will go on without heating it up. Didn't you even put one in the wrong spot as I well? I think so. I'm like, oh, that's just staying there. So if you heat him up in hot water, they will go in a lot easier. He's got his little camera, his plunger, his exterminating rod there, whatever the technical names are. And then he's got like little cords kind of attached to his head that are just hanging down. He's super rusty looking. He's got little scrapes along the base of his pad at the bottom of him there. He doesn't seem to have like too many rust spots. We had another one that was an old like decrepit Dalek and he was really I rusted I think he's up. all rusty. Yeah, his, maybe it's just his whole frame is, oh yeah, because he's just all rusted brown. Oh yeah, a whole bunch Some of places side. are worse than others. Yeah, so he looks really cool. And it makes me like kind of feel bad for him. Cause me he, too. He wanted to be a good Dalek, but that's just because he was broken. Are there mm -hmm. good Daleks in the show? Oh, only if they're broken. <laughs> and then you fix them and they want to kill people again. I'm getting... Probably Robin Hood. Probably another Dalek. Oh yeah, it is, isn't it? It's we each get our own Rusty. That sounds good for me. Well, you need an army of Daleks. There you go. Oh yeah, his head like articulates. Oh, like, almost that's all cool. Because they do like, and they have to be able to aim their death rays at people, right? So the good thing we got a double, or else you would have missed pointing that out. Yeah, exactly. We'll each put together one later. Okay? Yeah. We'll race. I'll probably win. All right, what's this one, Mix? We know it won't be a double, because those are left just for me. Yeah, I never have to get any doubles. Oh, this one Whoa. is the <laughs> this one's the teller. They're like robbing a bank, so I think his name is kind of like a play on fortune teller and bank teller, perhaps. But he kind of sees into people's minds the guilt, their guilt, and he can collapse 
their brains on them. He reminds me so. of Hammerhead from Star Wars a little bit. Oh, oh yeah, he's weird looking. He's got like his big eyes coming out and stalks there, yellow eyes on the end. He's actually not evil, but he's kind of forced into doing this evil job. And he's got like, I think this is like a collar that keeps him imprisoned and his arms are in a, like a little straight jacket thing. He's got, you can tell, little like locks or clasps there where his jacket's all tied up. So I feel bad for this guy. He's not actually mean. You can see his brain on top kind of through his head there. And yeah, he's just got some weird looking holes. Maybe that's like where his nostrils would be. And then his mouth. And he's pretty creepy looking, but he looks cool. I want to watch the show now just to see this guy. You gonna get another teller? Yeah, probably. <laughs> it is uh, Cyberman, right? Yeah, it's Cyberman. <laughs> Danny is the Cyberman. He's basically dead, kind of like a dead body in there or at least mostly dead. His eyes are like all dark. His face is kind of like pulled where the metal clips into his skin. He is like just barely hanging on to his humanity. He's got the total Cyberman body and all like the head pieces. Seeing the face on a Cyberman just makes it so much more gruesome because like basically all their humanity stripped away and they're just infused with metal parts. So yeah, he looks pretty, pretty grim with that face hanging out of the Cyberman body. I was never a big fan of Danny, so I'm like, hmm, I'm okay with you being a Cyberman. All right guys, so this is the last two that we will be unboxing for this video. But then next Monday, we will unbox the rest of the case and the giveaway will run from now until next Monday night as well. Of course, you can enter the giveaway right now though. Just to let you know that I'm taking this one so I don't get a double. <laughs> Is that okay, Mix? That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> you had enough doubles. I don't know. I have a feeling that this one's going to be a Robin Hood. And I really want to get a Robin Hood. Oh, this one feels like he has a top hat. So it's probably a... Uh, oh, the half-face man. Yeah, half-face man. Is he related to Harvey Dent? Half-face man! <laughs> Good guess on that one. Does he have an accessory? He does not. Oh. This is... Top a hat. Yeah, he looks really <laughs> cool. This is like, I think maybe the first villain that he meets as he is as the 12th Doctor. But he's got like just half a face there really and the other Makes half sense. has like a bulging eye and he's got all like a metal frame underneath there. He's got his top hat. He's got like a nice suit on. He's got like a little bit of purple cloth underneath there and a little, it looks like a watch chain sticking out in between his jacket and his like vest inside there. So he looks really cool. Oh, he's got like kind of brown stripes just on his toes in the front of his foot. I think he looks awesome. And this guy was basically putting himself together from humans throughout Victorian London. He was just all machine at the very start of it. So he's becoming human on his own. All right, Mix, one more then, right? For yeah. this week. And I guess it's your turn. You get the last one because I stole that <laughs> one from you. And mine will probably be a double. If it's a Robin Hood, I am going to freak out. Yeah, and that will be all you fault. <laughs> Let's see. Oh. <gasps> what? It is Robin Hood. Is it? <laughs> I think so. That is hilarious. <laughs> What? Oh. You can't even plan that if you wanted to. Because you stole my That's, turn. Isn't it supposed to be him? <laughs> That's crazy. <laughs> At least now you know where Robin Hood is. <laughs> right in the middle there. What does he have as an accessory? So he's got a bow. There's no string. It's just the bow. The doctor like doesn't really believe that he's a real person or anything because he's like, no, Robin Hood doesn't exist. And Clara's just like fangirling over Robin Hood. It's awesome. So he looks really good. He does look good. He's got one like eyebrow that goes up. The actual paint on the eyebrow goes up, but then you can see like a little groove in his forehead for it too. He's the got... face sculpts are always really I know, yeah. like excellent on these. Yeah, Titan figures have great face sculpts. He's got his mustache, his beard, he's got his little feather in his hair, and then you can see like green strings kind of tied on his hat there as well that come out. And it's got like little wrinkles in the back of his cap where it folds down. He's got a braid, so you can tell he's got kind of like a half ponytail going on. The braid is coming out of his hat there. He's kind of got some like front pieces trailing down as well, so he's pretty good mini hair even though most of it's covered up with his hat. And then yeah, so for his outfit he's just got some laces kind of crisscrossing and some gold eyelets where the laces come out and a little buckle and everything. So he's really cool and I can't believe you didn't get to I know, him. that's funny. All right, I think we did pretty good this week. Who is your favorite out of everyone we unbox this week, Mix? Ooh, I don't know, I like them all. I like Rusty, but I think maybe Clara because she is a mystery figure and I really like her little menu that she's got, if that's what that is. I'm gonna go with Robin Hood. He is cool. <laughs> Cause I would like Robin Hood even outside of a Doctor Who set. I may have to make you watch that episode then. I might agree to that. All right, guys, well, let us know what your favorite was out of all the ones we unboxed today. And thank you very, very much to Entertainment Earth 
for sending these to us for us to unbox and review and also for the extra one they are allowing us to give away to one of you guys and now in case you haven't figured it out already all you have to do to enter to win a full case of this set is click the link in the description below it'll take you over to our website and you'll see exactly how to enter there are multiple ways and they are all very very easy this giveaway will run beyond next week's mystery Monday video so make sure you come back and check out the rest of the figures in the set and not just because you can win but because we like hanging out with you every single chance we get so thanks again to entertainment earth don't forget to check out their website also while you're down there clicking around going to the giveaway going to entertainment earth before you leave if you see an icon that looks something like this click it and give us a thumbs up right mix yeah and what else and subscribe subscribe i already told you why because we want you to keep coming back and you need to be notified right so hit that subscribe button so you never miss a thing thank you very much for watching you guys oh yes you rock